And we're back. We're back. Back on another Tuesday. Seems like a good tuning day is Tuesdays. This is a 15 SS. We had it in here earlier for some diagnostics and didn't get to tune it. Um, now it's back, making good power. You remember everything that's done to it? Have a red hot cannon spot bottom in. Yep. Nothing raised with two inch headers, X pipe, and what, what mufflers are on? These are the stock mufflers on this one. FIC 1300 injectors, and this is, <laughs> yeah, on a 2650. This one has um, the stock fuel pump with the new DSX socks set up. That's the 320 upgraded pump, the, the big pump. That one seems to do pretty good. It's not dropping pressure, it's still of well above 70 PSI through all the hits, and it's making over 800 horsepower. So that's pretty stout for that. This is our 93 number, 761, 625, and 809, 671 on E85. About 70% ethanol content. Yeah, we don't have a bunch of time in it either. So. No, this- 15 pounds? At peak, it's 15 pounds if it's cold. But heat soak, this one I think uh, about 14, 15. So it depends on the temperature of the uh, blower because you know, of course, a little heat will get in there and pull out a little yeah. boost. It's making good power. Yeah, for sure. This is. Yeah, never. Yeah, stock everything except the cam and the fuel system and the blower and the exhaust. So, we we could make more because at 809, it's at 6900 RPM. That's exactly when I let off. So, if we turn it to 72, 7300, we'd probably make 840, 850. At that angle. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a that angle's. So making good torque as well every hit is above 600 foot pounds as soon as i roll into it and i'm trying to be easy on them because these are a lot of and it's a lot of cylinder pressure down here so i try to be real easy on timing the timing ramps up in this so the least time in here most up top but i'm still real safe 669 yeah 669 at 4500 and 670 <laughs> at 5500 it yeah. never goes below 600. If you back off, it's still 615. Yeah, that's huge torque. And it sounds pretty good through these mufflers, so it's a good setup. Yeah, it starts, the whole full starts at 3600 at 633. Yeah, and, that's easy, and that is easing into it. I think that might be why I have the little bubble, but yeah. it's making so much power down there, it doesn't even matter. So he's going to do a built bottom end with this, and I suggest a crank as well because... These uh, 2650s are hard on parts. Uh, you know, you figure if you're making almost 700 foot pounds when you first touch the gas, and that's trying to twist that crankshaft, especially from where the pulley bolts are on the end of the snout to the first counterweight. There's a lot of area there. Yep. And so, uh, you know, these, these things will have a tendency to twist the end off of them. You know, break right there. So, especially and I, when you really start making you know, bigger power. And I think this one he said has a 3.25 upper. So it's a pretty big pulley. He could pull it down if he wanted to. And you can tell the blower will take more because- It's coming on. The, yeah, the horsepower never drops off. It just continues. <laughs> and the uh, boost inside the car is doing the same thing. The boost is increasing with RPM, which, you know, roots blowers aren't that known for that. This is the camshaft too. Like this is the True. BTR. MS3 stage two, centrifugal PDS, red hots, all the same things there, but it, it's not laying over. I mean, it's putting yeah. work. So. Yeah, and we're, the only reason we're not turning it more is because of the power it's making. We're trying to keep it as. They drove three hours. Yeah, they we drove three hours. to drive it back three hours. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, you know we're trying to keep it together because that's a lot of torque and horsepower for a stock bottom end setup. So we're real happy with it. Uh, We'll put the dyno sheet at the end. Dusty's got a couple runs. We'll have to go through those and get the two that we got. And we're going to see if it makes a little more power. I guess you guys will find out here when you see the dyno sheet at the end.